Okay, so we finished last lecture talking about use case bodies and we're going to dive right in and we're going to make one um, for our uh, for our ATM system. So a use case body always looks like this. We split it into actor actions on the left and system actions on the right hand side and we only have a use body, use body for a specific use case. Every use case that we had on our earlier use case diagram will have its own unique use case body associated with it. We're going to look at the one uh, d with withdraw money um, that it belongs to the actor card holder and this whole process starts out by the user inserting their card at the ATM and then we just follow this through step by step being very specific and clear about who does what the user inserts the card then the system will request a PIN, the user will enter the PIN, then the system will request some form of authorization the Visa authentication system should confirm and at this point this first use case body we're going to assume that everything succeeds we'll come back to what happens when things fail a little bit later on but notice again we've got two different actors featuring in the column on the left hand side numbers one and three feature the um, card holder as the actor number five features the visa authentication system as the actor even though it is a secondary actor so all the actor actions go on the left and only the system actions go on the right hand side once we've had the authentication confirmed um, the system will show some form of options and if we're withdrawing money the rest of this process unfolds as you can see on the slide so the user selects withdraw then there's some other checks and balances and eventually it ends up with the user getting some money from the ATM with a few other checks um, you can go and see a full example of a use case body here at the top you've got some very important parameters the title the summary what actors does it involve and the main success scenario which is the one we just went through the main success scenario is what does this process look like if everything goes right and importantly a use case body should also have a creation date a version a modification date and a person in charge of keeping it up to date so what happens when things go wrong well when things go wrong we can see a few examples in here for example what happens if someone enters the wrong pin what happens um, if someone tries to withdraw too much money and a few other things well we can build these into our use cases as well by using alternative and error scenarios so the steps that I've bolded here are steps that could potentially lead to a failure and let's see what happens when one of them does here um, I've given the examples of having an invalid card having an overdrawn account um, or enter um, incorrectly uh, entering the pin now um, the alternative scenario here would be one of these that isn't a complete failure but means we have to go back to an earlier point a complete failure would be something like an invalid card where we cannot proceed uh, at all further with our original use case so let's take a look at some specific examples let's give the example of someone has entered the pin at the ATM but they've entered the wrong pin and this is the first or second time they've done it all that happens as you can see we follow our step-by-step -step, uh, process here we get to step six um, so we get to step five and the authentication system rejects the pin that we've entered then our system checks if this is the user's first or second attempt and if it is all we do is we go back to an earlier step so we go back to main sequence scenario two which is requesting the user's pin again this is an example of an alternative scenario because nothing fails it just takes us back to an earlier stage in the main success scenario um, there are <clears throat> simpler ways of writing this because our first four steps are identical to the main scenario more often than not you'll just see it laid out like this starting from that point where it diverges from our main success scenario so here's a few other examples go through stop the video and make a, your own alternative scenario for one of these on the screen okay hopefully you've uh, had a chance to have a look at that um, a great way to sanity check these is to role play them uh, have a person act as an actor and a system and talk through the use case that you have um, this will quite often identify issues where someone doesn't have the information that they need when they need it and can be a great way of troubleshooting any of these issues